Unless uh, we're about to be surprised. Nope, no surprises here. Yep, Lucina Ness, I mean, you know, there's definitely gonna be a matchup that, like Lucina has that that great big sword. Mm -hmm. Already chasing Ness off stage. Ooh. Yeah, it's really gonna be on how Lumbre is gonna combat these this wall of swords that, yeah. <laughs> that Crimson's gonna be using. Already, you know, uh, oh! oh, wow. I mean, you could hear, I think Crimson actually tried to up out. Cause I feel like I heard the, I don't know. Oh, wow, I like the spacing around the side magnet there. Yeah. Chasing him back to the ledge. Uh, the movement from Lumbre, and especially the use of side magnet when he wants to stall or mix up his, his approach is very good. Yeah. We're gonna see him really, really uh, abuse it. Definitely something that a lot of Nest players like uh, have been you know, putting it putting a great effect here in ultimate. That obviously the uh, yo yo charges with the smash down smash. Yeah, I'm not sure Whoa. we're gonna see it too often because we we are having uh Lumbre a versus Lucina. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Matt, a character that is like a really, really solid um like window of invincibility on the up Yeah. So I'm, oh, oh careful. that's so unfortunate for Crimson. Yeah, and this has been like two stocks that he's lost at like sixty or seventy. So that's like Okay. Pretty, you know, pretty not great. Yeah, this should be a very, very easy KO at this point. One stock to two, definitely doable if he doesn't lose another stock at 70. That's kind of been the uh, the big problem for uh, for Crimson this game. Yeah, these PK Thunder is really what's giving Numbre a lot of mileage. As soon as he lands one, you can see him starting to approach, putting himself in a position where he's able to follow up right. or even just trap Crimson, getting yeah. a couple forward as along the way. Okay, good. Full hop over the PK fire. Definitely don't want to get hit by one of those. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Crimson going in. Hitting those aerials. All yep. right. Ooh. And right there, uh, you know, the, the mix-up is usually do they land on the platform or do they fall through it? Mm -hmm. And Lumbre actually guessed right, but it looked like he just kind of misspaced. I think for Lumbre, it's really going to be, is Crimson going to try and land with an aerial or is he going to try and land with a shield breaker? Right. Especially after a couple of hits oh. have already tagged Lumbre's shield. It's going to be dangerous. For sure. Uh, and if that was a strong hit, that was going to be curtains right there. Oh, okay. Gets the down smash. A lot of coverage there. Yeah, landing with Nair. Connects on the Lumbre. Oh. Back throw. Yeah, unfortunately, didn't get the cross up back air. That's what Crimson was looking for. Right. Yeah. You know, that's that's like the strongest back throw, I think, in the game in terms of, like, you know, raw just kill power. Oh, man. Top, have I ever told you how much I hate the Earthbound characters? They're so <laughs> tragic, man. I hate those characters. I'm so glad Ness sucks at melee. Oh my god. I don't think I'd be able to put up with him if he was. Oh. Can you imagine if he was like wave dashing around and then gotcha? Yeah. Get another I mean, like wobble situation going. Dude, I mean, it, like, like, uh, I mean, honestly, I, I mean, I can't hate. They definitely have a lot of like cool stuff. You look at like PM Ness and, and Lucas, I mean, they have so much. Because also, Sign Magnet in that game, you know, with mm -hmm. the hitbox, right? Like, they're like little like. Freaky like space animals. It's like they're <laughs> shining on you with the side magnet, wave shining. It's 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 terrifying. I was Absolutely definitely getting terrifying. shine PTSD when uh, we first booted up Ultimate and saw that. Lou, yeah. Hit. Oh my it god. It has a hitbox. It has a hitbox now, and he can stall with it. Oh, I love the sound that Forest Smash makes. Oh, it's it so just sounds like a whack. Okay, back air on the shield. Uh huh. And Crimson content holding that shield. Very smart. Yeah. The recovery has been really solid from Lumbre. Taking that arc that makes it really hard for Lum uh, Lucina to get under him and scoop him with like a back air and a forward air. Because mm -hmm. you know that's what she wants to be looking for. That's true. And there's a back throw. God, center almost stage, not be enough. center stage. Oh, here we go. The PK Thunder Sharks yep. getting the tail into the main hit. Pop. Oh, I like the idea with counter. Careful, oh. man. And the damage is just yeah. insane. Forward air and Lumbre. The open slash wasn't enough to make it. To have Crimson get back to ledge. Yeah, it's gonna be a game. Uh, first, first stock going to Lumbre. Yep. Wow. Oh, uh, with no jump, that's gonna be it, I think. No, yep, yeah, he doesn't yep, even yep. need to go out there. Uh, wow. That's that actually worked out in Crimson's favor uh, because Crimson was not gonna be able to make yeah, it. Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lumbre just went off stage. It feels bad, regardless, though, man. You know, chat's popping off. <laughs> Oh yeah, Libre, yeah, Libre definitely like, could have just like chilled. Like there was no. Oh no! Yeah, you can be able to make it back though. Oh. Crimson getting hit. We see another down there. Nope. Yeah, but I mean, the yo-yo charge is actually like working out. Looking for rolling behind him, maybe looking for a back throw. Oh, trying to get the smash four. Nice. Mm -hmm. I love that. That still works. Like wow. that's still like a, a good strategy. Right, man. Every little thing is working right now. Every PK Thunder is getting mileage. Oh. Wow, and he actually opted to go for a, a jump from the ledge. That was potentially risky. Yeah, he might have just gotten hit, and that would have been a home run for Lumbre. Yeah. 
Looks like Crimson doesn't really have much of an answer for uh, Lumbre sitting in the shield, too. Wow, yeah, mixing up his drift by, you know, be reversing the side magnet. A lot of ways you can land his nest there. Kind of crosses him up. Like, I think, you know, Crimson was, was, was anticipating him to land on one side of him. He be reversed and just got that back here when, when, uh, when he let down his shield. I'm shocked that Crimson was having as much difficulty with uh, Loombrape sitting in shield. He literally has a move called Shield, shield Breaker. Breaker. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, it's, you know, sometimes obviously it is wind up like you're, you're, uh, yeah, yeah, it does. He and was so scared, so, like, I guess, right? To, you're, you're to use it every single opportunity, obviously you're just going to be like um, forecasting what you're going to be going for. Right, right. But we saw him utilizing game one. You just needed to do a similar situation. Land a couple of forward airs or possibly a cross-up back air on Lumbre's shield. Yeah. And then now that shield breaker becomes a threat. Right. Just, if you start throwing that out, guess what? Lumbre's going to lay off the R-button a little bit. Right, right, right. No, for sure. Well, that was, uh, you know, a little normal.